And now we are with a beautiful person inside and out. International Cypriot artist Alexia Vasiliou is here with us. I'm very excited. I'm a huge fan. I love her work. Alexia, thank you for being here with us. What a privilege. What a joy to see you after Greece, you know? I know. I know. I'm happy to see you. I'm, I'm ecstatic to see you. Me too. You look gorgeous. I love your hair. Thank Alexia you. used to be blonde, then she was red. Now she's this gorgeous, rich color. Thank you. You have evolved so much as an artist. I mean, you just keep doing bigger and better things every year. You're such a successful person, and we are happy yeah. that you can give some great advice to our viewers who are, uh, follow you and are big fans. Alexia, for those of you who don't know, had a huge success. I mean, all her life started in the 80s. Um, in 1987, uh, she took place in Eurovision with a huge, successful international hit, Aspro Mavro. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, her career took a huge turn in 1995. Tell us a little bit about that turn of your career in 1995, because you're, you have so, so many years of success. Let's just start from there. Thank you, Yanamu. Uh, okay, I recorded uh, my album Classica, which was with um, songs from Greek uh, films, uh, but it was all big band music. The golden years. The of, golden of years, I would say. You're right. Yeah. And uh, Kostas Kapnisis is amazing, amazing orchestrator, orchestrated it. Magis de la Portas was the producer, along with me, myself, for my BMG album. I, I did a duet with Rena, Rena Vlachopoulou, who I adore. Wonderful. Vlasis Bonatsos. Mm -hmm. Oh, God bless his soul. Yeah. Both. And so Ikurukli, yeah, I know, amazing talents. And uh, Renata Hopuru used to live in New York and, and sing jazz in New York. Oh, and I found out later after a duet. So then I did, um, a duet, uh, sorry, pardon me, a double city with Migis Todorakis and a, a couple of. She's been privileged to work with the best, the yeah. best. Well, I, 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 let, I, I studied music in Boston. So mm, f to me, f most, foremost, I mean, of foremost importance is um, is music, not gimmicks or not what will sell. Nobody knows what will sell. It depends on marketing. But uh, my duty is to do, to offer or the audience or the buyers or the people who love music lovers the best, what I consider the best. Then I did a jazz album with Chick Corea, with again with BMG, which I owe to Miltos Karadzas very much. This opportunity. Rakan Milto, great guy. I love you, Miltos. And uh, so yeah. Chick Corea and John Patitucci, Stavros Lancias did the music preparation, we recorded in LA. That's when I, did, I fell in love with LA and I, said, I wanted to move. That was 1994. But then did I, that change you when you moved to LA? Did that make that, that turn that you had in your career in the style of music that you were singing? It was a wonderful transition. LA actually changed me ever since I visited it in 1994. How so? Um, there was something, some interesting energy in, kept, which kept inviting me to go there, it was luring me to get there. And because I had a life and um, was working in Greece, and it was before the internet, so now you can be practically anywhere and have your office with you, which Absolutely. is virtual. <laughs> virtual. And um, you know, my iPhone, I have a recording apparatus, uh, applications. I have um, everything. So my Technology telephone, Technology is everything. amazing. Yes. So, but then I, I had to stay there. Uh, but then sometimes in 2009, I decided to, to you know, relocate and just move to L.A. And everything was a thousand times better than, I, than whatever, every, the best uh, circumstance I, I envisioned. The best. I had friends there, teachers from, from Berkeley, from college, uh, uh, classmates from Berkeley, musicians, and fellow Greeks and Cypriots. So, yeah, I loved, I loved my life there. Living abroad for many years has changed you, and uh, what I do want to tell our audience, which is an important uh, 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 great news, is that you've been nominated. You're part of the ballot for nomination for a Grammy. Yes. We are very proud. Thank you, We are you, very Yellow. proud. And, you know, I know Cyprus has been getting some bad uh, uh, raps right now, and uh, the news from Cyprus uh, with the economic crisis that hit yes. uh, Cyprus. But we want to support uh, you. And uh, tell us a little bit about this uh, uh, nomination, this ballot for yeah, the nomination. Thank you for mentioning it. it um, it's, um, it's, it's, nominated, it's, it's actually in the ballot for nomination for Best Jazz Vocal Album. And I produced it. It uh, was recorded in Munich, Athens, and Paris. And uh, the composer is Peter Massink, a Dutch man a great sax player who I worked with in the Megisto Dorakis album, my jazz album, in my Ruby, my triple CD, which I will give to you. And um, so it's his music, compositions, his orchestrations, my lyrics, my voice, and my production. 
Fantastic. So yes, it's, it, was, it was released the day after the crisis, um, ex just the news about the crisis exploded in, in Cyprus. Mm -hmm. The next day, because we had been planning with my Valentina Carantoni, my associate, to release it. And we said, with all this bad news, should we just, no, no. We decided to go on yes. with things as planned because creativity doesn't need to stop because yes. somebody decided in politics decided that, you know, to stall us. No, nothing stalls creativity and production because this was what culture, it was what Dimitri said earlier, the journalist. The culture and creativity and uh, just keep doing what we know what to do best will save us in the end. Yes. And people need them. Um, I mean, uh, this. Uh, you need the support. momentum. You need the momentum of creativity. You and need the inspiration. The positive, inspiration. positive, exactly. Positive, reinforcement. Yes, positive reinforcement, positive news because yes. things don't just stop. And, and this is what we've been saying with Greece as well. Yes, this might have happened, but that doesn't stop the talented people. It doesn't stop people from creating, from learning, from, from getting inspired. And, and during these times, perhaps people should look for this positive reinforcement to become more creative and use what's happened as, as fuel, a positive force and as, as fuel. Fuel to creativity, that's what I, I do. Yes. Tell me the difference of, of this type of music now. How do you feel? Do you add a little, can you, can you put some Greek into your in jazz? There's always Greek and, and Cypriot. I mean, I, I, I make differentiation because I, mean, I love both countries. I feel that I am from both countries. Yes. But I, I grew up, I mean, I was born in San Francisco. So yes, of course, I always do. Yeah. I mean, and, and the way I sing and the images I have in my mind whilst, while I'm singing mm -hmm. is, is the, the streets, the people, the language, the dialects, and uh, the dinners, the smiles, you know. This, this is what everything I do is made, is made of. So, of course. You are in all your music. And Hellenicity is, I'm proud to wear. Absolutely. The flags are all over her <laughs> face, arms, music, heart, soul. <laughs> Tell me the best moments of your life that you remember. Well, every day I think that yesterday was better than the day before, than what will come. But every, every, every day I have just experiences which are really... But the best time, I think, well, I can't think of one day. Only that I had an operation, just this. I never do, but I had it this past June. And I was staying with my parents in Larnaca, in the house where I grew up after the war, the Turkish invasions of 74. My parents took care of me, Yoga Sinatinulla, and my sister Marita. And I just, oh my God, I loved being in pain, and I loved having my parents take care of me. I loved <laughs> being there. That child in you. I loved it's it. It's still there, that child. It is indeed. Yeah. But after, I think I grew rapidly after this experience because I felt that it's my obligation to hopefully never have to, but take care of my parents yeah. if the opportunity arises. Hopefully it won't, because they're young and strong. Good. But I'm, I it think is our this obligation. is just. It's in our culture. It's in our culture. And also one more thing, spending time with Maritas, my sister's daughter, Athena, this past year that I was in Cyprus, was a gift for me. Yeah. Children are, they inspire you, they do, because they're so innocent and pure. And intelligent. Close to God. Yes. Yes, and intelligent. Yep. Yes. Many hidden treasures that inspire you. And what does inspire you when you write? Everything. Uh, before I began to write, I took creative writing and gender studies and feminist studies with a great, great teacher, Christiane Labrinidis. Mm -hmm. um, she studied at Harvard and worked there, but then she lived in Pagrati, in Athens, mm -hmm. where you know, place of you know well. So I, I worked with her for period of, I think, seven years on off. And that was, after that, there's no pain in my life. There's no loneliness or, now it's aloneness, which is a much, mm. just, uh, it's, it's a feeling I, I love. So, yeah, I get inspired um, by everything around me, really. And I want you to give our viewers a message who are inspiring to follow a music career. What would you have to say to them? Um, to con just to question why they want to be musicians. I mean, if they are, obviously, because some people may, may just do it to please parents or others. But no, just even, okay, we've overcome that. You are a musician. Just continue to be authentically you, who you are meant to be. No matter what a producer may say, of course, it's wonderful to hear people's opinions, but your heart and your stomach know best and uh, study what you do.
in depth, as in depth as possible. Now through the internet, it is so, so easy. We have such access yes. to a vast library. Um, and education, continued education is important. Constantly, you don't, you don't learn, evolve. And that's it. We yes. want you to evolve. Yeah, and just by being us though. And if stuff doesn't work for us, we stop it, we wrap, and we, we try to li lis listen to our inner to our core, yes. and then we can be led to a different direction, which is more appropriate for us. So no fear. Strong, beautiful words from a wonderful, beautiful, strong woman. Thank uh, you, very Jana. profound, Alexia. And so happy to have you. We wish you the best of luck and success. We, we will be following your career. And for those of uh, you who do not know where you can find Alexia's uh, wonderful uh, uh, pieces and music and CDs, let our audience know where they can buy your uh, CDs. Thank you. Yes, it's, hard. Yeah, it's strange that I have to mention it now, but yes. Uh, iTunes and CD Baby and Amazon and, of, of course, the Facebook artist page, which is a very, uh, like a wonderful living room and very much alive nowadays. Your my, living room. My <laughs> living room, actually, where I receive friends and people I don't know who I meet there. And so please, you're welcome. <laughs> so look out for her. And I want you to dedicate a song to New Greek TV. OK, the song from Kusanir uh, Sayers' movie, Sacred Whispers, Must Save the Day, from my album, Ruby. I wonder what the problem is. With our self-acceptance A gypsy presence on demand For stray nomadic treasures What, what sort of selfish self this is That cares not but for friction Does she not know that freedom seeks No borders, no restrictions must change the way to save the day. Must save the day to change.